Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So we're going to do some In the Pines and Friends because I've got Pampered Pets, I've got Zany Zebras, I've got just the Snowflake Wishes from that one, and I've got the Snowman. I don't know, there might be something else, but who knows? You never know. So I think I will do, I think I will do this one first. Um, yeah, we'll save that one. We'll do the little zebra Christmas. Oh, everything just fell. So that's the card. And let me just get all the, all the pieces. And I got my new banners punch. I was so happy. I love it. Everybody should own it. Okay, so let me grab a piece of paper. We have a little visitor there. Oh, and while I was waiting to go on, <laughs> does this look familiar? Anybody? He's missing his arms and his legs, but I was like playing. <laughs> And I put eyes in the face on them. <laughs> it's Gumby. It's Gumby. <laughs> okay. I'm over it. Um, yeah. So, I think I'll do the background first. And that will get us to where that can dry. And then there's a little bit of coloring that goes on with this. So... Let's do it. Uh, you know, guys, I can't help myself. Hi, Sean. Hi, Andy. Hi, Teresa. Okay, so bracelets are off, so I don't make noise. We're using a little balmy blue and whatever's left on here. Oh, I liked what was on it before. Okay, I think... I'm going to grab some um, Seaside Spray because I think that's what was on it and I'm going to let it mix together. Yeah, good luck now. Okay, so we're just going to put that, yeah, it's not enough. We're going to put some of that on. Yeah, I did like the seaside spray that was left over because I never inked it. I just, whatever was on it, I said, man, let me just go for it. I was like, ooh, nice. So I never worry about like really my sky, like making it so even because your sky is going to have like cloudy lights and darks anyway. You just don't want like real streaks. That's why I usually like wipe it a little bit. So just to make sure that I cut the bottom piece the same. Okay. So it was the sea size spray for this card that I liked better. Then, now I did it a different way, but I'm going to go with this. So this is um, just a paint marker, white paint marker. Oh, maybe I will use the gesso. Because I like the splots, bigger splots. We're using the gesso. None of these things have made me happy yet. You know that? Okay, so it's a big thing of gesso. 
I didn't clean it from the last time I used it. And then I have, hmm, did it fall? It fell. Well, we'll grab another one. Oh, life is good. Life is good. Okay, so this is just like there's nothing in here at all. So I'm just going to take some gesso. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Yeah, I've used that too. The gesso is a little bit whiter than, than the craft ink. I just can't do it neat. That's my problem. I have a big box in here, but I want to be able to do it like in front of you, if that makes sense. So I do have a small box, but you know what? <laughs> We're just going to do it. Like, who cares where it goes? As long as I get some on the paper, I'll be happy. Okay, she's happy. It's gone everywhere. So I have a glass of water on the side so that I can just throw that paintbrush in. And this will be dry by the time we go to use it, I hope. So let me get rid of that. Only a few specks here and there, not too bad, and on my hand. Okay, so we are going to take this piece now and we're going to stamp and my stomach is a growling so I hope you can't hear that so we've got the dog who lost his ear and then we have the zebra who just hopped away somewhere. He was just here. Come on. Oh, he's right there. Behind my coffee. So that's the way they're going to be on the card. So what I did was, and I'm using my other markers, because I can. All right, so I'm going to take like a little darker, darker of the lighter shades, and I can come in a little bit so you can see it. And I'm going to do like his belly area, and then blend that, blend that out. Then we're going to take, here's the other, oh, the other brown was this one, E41, okay. So we're going to take this darker brown and wherever there should be shadows, I'm going to use that. Oh, my poor belly. And there. A little bit there, a little bit here. Like up in his fur, I'm going to flick some under his nose. Okay, then the next color down, and 
and I'm flicking it like to make it kind of like it's fur but I'm not making myself you know like crazy with it I just want like a little bit there this is like a super super quickie Okay, then we're going to take that lightest color and blend that. And I'm not really going to do two coats, but I am going to just come back over it with that middle color and just add a little bit more of the, the flicking so it looks like a little bit of fur. Like that. So then we're going to do his nose. And that mid-tone color. And then... We're going to take a little bit of darker red to the sides and then the lighter of Tramp. Yes, it does. And he's looking at the zebra like he did Lady. <laughs> okay, so then for the zebra, I missed a spot. Okay, for the zebra, we're going to do two very light shades of gray. And these are the ones that, you know, if you're only using blends and you really want to get some lighter colors, these are the two that I say you should get. If you only bought two, these are the two, CO and COO just so that you can get the lighter shades to like trace around flowers and there's a couple of the warm grays I would get too like that. Then you're not investing, you know, a lot more to just to make your coloring a little bit better. Okay, and then the, whoops, the lighter one, we're going to just blend all, yeah it is. So he's not really white, he's more, I wanted him more gray. Okay, then we're going to take the darker C9 and C7, maybe C5. What was this one? Oh, that's the light one. Let's do the dark one first. So I'm just sketching like over each one of these. Like that. Okay. 
and then like here a little bit more there then we're going to put a little bit on his nose and then <clears throat> I just lost my voice in here and over each one of these okay then I think I'm only gonna do a little of this mid tone oops missed a little in there so you're just going over where you were And then this is the lightest one and that's gonna like smooth it all out my phone has been blowing up all day buzzing right now oops I forgot to schnoz so I'm going to hit it with the, the light color but I'm going to come back in again with that mid-tone since I forgot it and then a little of his eye so after they're colored then they um, they will look like that and that cut out now this one has a die that one doesn't so that I had to use a scissor okay so then we're gonna do the trees so I pre-cut these out and we are gonna hope for the best here that we get it. Okay, so with just Jade, So you just hover over it if you ever have to do this and then you just pray that you got it. But you can also do it in your um, Stamparatus. You just make a little, like you would take the negative part, sit it in and then match it up and you could do a bunch. So this is quite a ways from me so I'm not really sure I'm on top of it I was a little off on the other one that one's better okay so then let's see if this one will fix otherwise I have another one I pre did yeah it's a good and then okay so I just put my finger in that hi Joanne hi Carol and Lisa all right so this should be dry and we can start putting it together but where's that other piece? It's missing. 
Oh, maybe I didn't cut it. I didn't cut it. All right, so we're going to do something else here. Ha ha, gal. Right here, we're going to do... What are we going to do? I think I'm just going to do some... Some something. Well, I guess I could cut one. I'll just do it different. Instead of with my die, I'll just do it with a scissor. So... Did I do that enough? Yeah, maybe. All right, we faked it, kind of, sort of. So I'm going to take um, this one, like one of the light grays. So we'll do a little C1. I'm going to do the same thing on an oops on another card. Oh, my stomach. And then you take the blender. And when everything's down, you're not going to really see see lines. It's just going to look like marks in the snow. All right, so we're going to put that down. Hi, Louise. Okay, and then these guys are going to go down. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I need to lift that up again a little bit. I think. Okay, so if you remember the other day I said sometimes I partially pop things. So this is one of those times so that they kind of look like they're not really flat and not, you know, like leaning on the trees. Oops, I forgot to take that off. Come off. And watch out for Gumby. The attack of Gumby. Who else watched that? It was like every Sunday morning. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to mount that onto. Now, this was five by three and three quarters, my normal. If you can call me normal. Ooh. Okay, so.
So now we're going to stamp Season's Greetings. Oh, I know why. Because I don't want that one. Hey, why are you doing that to me? All right, I gotta pull it a little close. Er. Maybe because I don't have pressure there. So I'm going to leave about that much. So if you're, it's kind of still wet. Okay, so if it fits like perfectly in there, in the track, you can just punch. If it doesn't then you turn it over and look at it that way so I'm gonna go like a little bit further which I think I didn't I love guesstimating I live dangerously okay then I'm gonna take a blue marker And bring it and I'm leaning it forward so that I can do like a fake layer Ooh. all right and then we're gonna pop that up oh there's my things over there So the other one I did, I cockeyed. I think I'm going to, no, I like it more over here. I'm going to do it cockeyed again. Because that's me, cockeyed. And then we'll glue this to the base. Oops. See, as long as you put trees, like, and snow, anything goes. You could even take, like, um some ribbon and make a little scarf but they're toughen it so they're oh no well, let me get the thing okay now this let me use this scrap this has alcohol in it so it's not gonna it's not gonna mess so it's starting to run out Oh, I bet it's on the back of the card, but we're going to make a little bit of, yeah, like don't throw these out because you can make your own. Like I just added alcohol. Let me add a little more so I can do some on the tree. I'm glad I didn't do my nails last night like I was supposed to.
See now, if you have alcohol in it and you go over the trees, it's not going to blend it like it normally does. So at the very end, to make it last longer, do this, but then you can take um, shimmer paint and mix it. Okay, so it's got a little sparkle. It's still like evaporating there, you can see it. <laughs> It's funny to look at. Okay, so that was card number one. Now, card number two is that guy. So the snowflake paper. And this one I pre-cut. The other one... I forgot it. So I'm just going to clean this off. What did I do? Put that away? No. <clears throat> and we need our little bag. So nothing sticks. So Versamark. And hopefully that's good right there. little bit of gold embossing powder. Oop, my fan. And then we're going to heat emboss it. Okay, so I used our dark spruce. So normally this, because it's alcohol ink, would cover up the gold. So I didn't go over everything, but yet I didn't like make sure, you know, I wasn't hitting it. And of course you can use your regular markers for this. This, I don't know, it was just easier for me. And you still see the sparkle through it. If you use your other markers, you can actually like wipe it off carefully because then you don't want to smear it all over. It's so far away from me, I, I like I know I'm missing spots. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of brown. So yeah, that side doesn't work. Okay, so 
So the snowman I pre-did. Seriously, Gail, I just closed the whole shebang. There we are. Okay, so that's going to go down. And we're going to do the same thing with a light gray. So you can be like a little bit sketchy. And then you take the blender. If you can find it, there it is. And just smooth it out. And that's going to lighten up quite a bit more as it dries. Okay, so we're going to mount it to that. And that's going to straighten this out a little bit. Oh, I really should trim that. It's a little bit over. We're just going to trim that overage. And then it'll look a little bit straighter. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with the dog and the zebra. And we're going to mount him up a little bit. But we're going to go down to, like, his chest. And then you can also bring in and kind of ground him a little bit. And we're going to mount them. that whole package and I keep forgetting to look and put it like towards the back okay so then this piece is three quarters of an inch and I cut it to the three and three quarters So we're going to stamp Snowflake Wishes as close to the middle as possible.
give it a quick blow job yeah if Anne is asking questions Anne is deaf like I think on a replay she can the words are there for her but if she asks a question if somebody can answer um, the name these if it's these it's Copic okay so now we're going to take the punch banners punch and this time I'm going to use this one In. Is that right? Is that right? I just feel like yeah, it's there. So now the blue. And then, I wonder if I should pop it up this time. Yeah, I think I will. Change it up a little bit, right? Right. Okay, so when I do this, I usually like zigzag them a little bit. And then, eh. So there's card number two. And you could put a few gems on it, but I didn't, as usual. Okay, so card number three is this one. Three different black inks. They all suck. Um, this is the one I use when I'm doing greetings. I love it. Love it. And then for normal black, I use this one because it's amalgam ink. Because then you can either watercolor or use your alcohol but this is the best for anything that's really fine fine line okay so we're using crumb cake and I put this through the pines folder so we're gonna take some crumb cake and a sponge and we're gonna just go over this folder and darken up those trees the sponge is like old or something
Okay, so now you can see that design in there better. And then with the dies and the, um, what is it? It's the new one. It's not shimmer. What they call it? <laughs> Somebody help me out. Anyway, this is the copper, and this is the lighter gold. <laughs> it's champagne, but like when I look quick, I can't tell them apart. So I'm doing like every other one. So I'm going to do the middle two first. So I'll do that one first. And I didn't take these. These can come out if you want, those little spots. I left them in. Because I didn't want to see through the trees. I just like the effect that they give with it in. So that's going to go right there. So the reason I ended up with Gumby was because I cut it to go along the bottom here. Oops. But then it it looked too thick. So I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, duh, I could have done like a brown piece of paper. Duh. Because I like the two tone. Don't you hate when you think of something like later? Oh. Well, I could have done that. I like the texture of the. Ah. Uh, Okay, so my original thought was that this would go there and then this on top, like that. But then I thought it might be too thick. What do you think? It's too thick, right? But I like the look of it. What do you think? Hi, Renee. Should I keep it or should I? You like it. Love it. All right, let's put it down. Maybe it'll, um, like, stop sticking to me. All right, we'll put it down. It's a little harder to cut this stuff, too. Felt. Okay, and then I'm going to just trim off what's not with that scissor, evidently. Okay, and then this and these were scraps that I had because I've used this one a lot love it okay let's mount that to the back piece
Now, if there's anybody new here, this is just a magnetic blackboard eraser. Okay. So now, I'm going to do the one side. And we're going to use the same season's greetings. If I know where I put it. There it is. So this is where I use the Versafine. And so now if you really want it to be exact, you can take this piece you know, and mark, you're still guesstimating, but you can see how much space you want. But I always guesstimate, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I do a lot of do-overs, folks. See, I knew that didn't feel like it went in. Still didn't go in. What are you doing? You're stuck. Come on, seriously? My fingers don't work. Stop doing that to me. It be there. But because I didn't cut it straight, it's not really... Well, we'll see. Perfect. <laughs> it's just perfect. All right, so now I'm going to take a brown marker. I think this is, um, oh, this is the bronze. And that's going to go right there. And then we're going to mount it on crumb cake. So that is card number three. Ouch. So let me bring them back. And that. And that. Let's put that one in the middle. Monkey in the middle. And raise the camera up. So there they are. And um yeah. And if you don't own this punch, you need to get it. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'm your girl. So all you demonstrators, you need it. Got to have it. It's really good. Very handy just to keep on your desk and you don't have to go over to your machine. So thanks everybody for being here tonight and I will be back on Wednesday with 
You know my motto. I don't know what, but it'll be something. See you all then. Good night, everybody.